Hello, welcome to this week's episode on how to shield and protect yourself from negative and toxic people. And if you notice, this is a little bit different uh, filming thing for us. I'm actually coming to you from inside my garden. That sounds weird to say inside my garden, but I, I don't have someone to pan the camera around. But if you can see the fencing on the side of me and maybe even a little bit above, uh, there's netting all the way around my garden. Uh, if you see beyond the garden, we live in the mountains here a little bit. We've got rabbits and deer and raccoons and all kinds of birds that just love that I'm a gardener. And so I had to build a cage, a shield of protection around me, around my garden to protect my garden. And so it's inside the garden. It's open air, but I have it with all this screen so nothing but a butterfly or a bee can get through. And we kind of need to do that with ourselves. We need to shield and protect ourselves. But before we get into teaching you all of that, I just want to invite you to go to our website, www.allthingspossible.biz. And there are so many free gifts there. I'd love you to join our community. You can get weekly updates and so much information there. Every week we put out a blog and a video on a, on a new subject to try and give people just so much information. So join that. And let's get right into this about shielding and protection. Let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, you know, if we go into a crowded thing, a crowded airport or something, and a lot of people are coughing, we try to cover so that we, you know, we'll put a mask on sometimes so that we don't get other people's germs. There's so many things that we do for protection. But what do we do to protect ourselves from people's toxic energy? Just their way of being, the energy that they carry because there are people that just absolutely drain you there's two types of people one that are uh, they're very angry they're very sad they're very and and they get their stuff on you and then there's other people that actually will drain energy from you they're just the very needy people they don't do it consciously but they tend to leak our energy leaks off to them and they feed off of that just I, like a vampire and there are ways to protect us from these kind of people. So we need that. I think all of us need it in the workspace. Sometimes even people that we love and that we live with, their energies can negatively affect us. And there's ways that we can still deal with these people, but yet shield and protect ourselves from them. Uh, just much like this garden is shielded and protected from the bunnies and the deer and, and the uh, bluebirds that want to come and eat my berries in the garden. So... Let's get right into that and talk about shielding. And what is it? It's I, I like to visualize it as just like a bubble. In fact, it's real popular now for people to, when they have a party and they rent these bubbles that you get inside, you can, you can run around in them. You can even run on water in them inside these bubbles. But it's a, a bubble of protection. And it's visualizing a bubble like that around you and setting certain parameters. And you probably heard of this, but people, many people are like, what do I do? And the way that I'm going to tell you will be a little bit different than other people tell you. There are so many ways to do it. Energy follows intention. Where you set your intention for the energy to go, it will follow. It will obey your intention if you set a good, strong intention. I like to simplify things. I'm a simple guy, and so I just want to make it as simple as possible. And so... What I would like to do is get right into that and give you a script, or actually I want to repeat the script for an energetic shield so that you can go ahead and shield yourself right now and get this permanent shield. And you won't have to have that part of it done once again. Or, that's not said right. You won't have to repeat that part. But it is like the plants in these gardens, and if you look at them, some of them are a little bit sick because we went on vacation for a week, and my sprinkler or my watering system failed. And so my garden is under stress right now because it wasn't properly maintained. The same thing can happen with our energy protection, with our shielding. If we don't maintain it daily and nurture it just and feed it, take care of it just like a plant, it's going to go down and it won't, it won't do us any good. But if, if we do this shielding and you go three or four weeks and forget and then realize you need to, just start the practices again. I'll share those with you. But let's begin with doing the shield. Now, 
You may have been wondering what a little red thing was doing hanging here. This is a magnet. Okay, it's there's nothing special about it. I suggest that you get a magnet. Have a small magnet there with you. It can be a, a refrigerator magnet. You don't need to get some great big uh, powerful magnet. The strength of the magnet doesn't matter. The reason we use a magnet is because I want to run this over the governing meridian on the body and that sends energy throughout the body. It helps set the intention and make it stronger. Now there are some people who will not want to use a magnet or I don't want you to use a magnet. If you fit under the following categories that I talk about, just do this with the tips of your fingertip and use your intention. You'll still be okay. Uh, and, and the classes of people that I would not recommend use a magnet is if you are pregnant or think you could be pregnant. I don't know of a case of a magnet, especially a small one, harming a fetus. But I don't want to set myself up to get sued if all at once people start having ugly babies and they'll say, well, Bill told me to use a magnet, so I'm suing him because my baby's ugly or any type of issues with the baby. It's just a safety thing. Uh, babies are very uh, sensitive to energies, the infant or the fetus is, so let's just not take a chance. The other thing is if you have an electronic implant like a pacemaker or something along that line that's essential to your staying alive and your health and function, then don't use a magnet. Just use your fingers and your intention. You'll be okay. If you don't fall under those categories, this helps it make it a little more powerful and set the intention a little clearer. Uh, we could go into all that. If you study Emotion Code and Dr. Bradley Nelson, he gives a lot of detail on the use of magnets and setting intentions and holding intentions. Uh, I don't want to get into that deep here. We just want to do the shielding. So if you're ready, I'm going to be do a script. I'll talk to you a little bit about why I use the certain words in the script after I'm done. But for right now, let's just do it and get it done. You don't have to consciously understand why. Your subconscious will pick up all this and it'll, it'll be in effect. And so as I'm doing this, just uh, don't start yet. I'm showing you, okay? Start on your upper lip and just take the magnet up over the back of your head. Now when I'm working with the client and I do, I'm working directly with them, I will take and I'll run the magnet from the top of their head down to the base of their spine. Unless you're a really good contortionist, you're not going to do that or be able to do that. So just from here, just do that and keep doing that the whole time that I'm running the script. You don't have to turn sideways, I'm just doing that so you can see uh, what I'm doing. And so, if you care or if you choose to participate and do the shield with me now so that you have your own shield, let's set an intention to receive this energetic protection and I'll begin that now. I'm not going to do this the whole time I'm doing the script. Go ahead and begin uh, passing the magnet up over your head or your fingertips, depending on what you feel uh, correct about. So, dear friend, I am now I am now installing a shield around your body, an energetic shield that covers you completely and totally protects you from harmful influences of other people and energies in the environment. This shield is complete, it covers you on all sides, and it is permanent and will remain with you throughout your life. I set the energetic frequency of this shield, of this shield at 200 on the map of human consciousness. At 200 it will only let in those energies which are positive, 200 and above. Anything above 200 we set to bring in. Anything below 200 we reject because it's are things of a negative nature. The shield is permanent, it stays with you forever, and so it is. And if you care to accept that, just tap three times on the chest and say, accept, accept, accept. Hold your hand over the navel and say, forever with me. And that's just another process we can do to, to deepen uh, something that we're receiving. Okay? It's, it's easy. It's, it's that simple. For those of you who are sensitives, uh, who really feel energies, you, and if you haven't shielded before, you'll really feel uh, a shift. If you don't, you're probably not going to feel anything. You're going to say, well, that felt a little bit weird. I'm glad nobody saw me doing it. Regardless, based on my experience and of the people that I worked with, shielding is very important and it is a real thing just because you cannot see it. Like the wind, 
you can see the effects of the wind, but you can't see the wind. And this, this energetic shielding and energetic influences of other people, we can see the effects of what they do to us. So, I said a funny thing there. In the middle of that, I said, I set the frequency, the energetic frequency, at number 200 and above on the scale of, of or on the map of human consciousness. I want to tell you what that is. David R. Hawkins, which he was one of the first people to start talking about kinesiology and muscle testing, in his book Power Versus Force. I really recommend you get the book and read it. Uh, it's an old book. I, it come out, it's been out a long time, but there's some great information in there. On that, he created a scale of one to a thousand and put the different emotions that we can have and, and gave them a number rating. Apathy is, is right down at the very bottom. Apathy and, and guilt and shame are very, very low. Uh, anger rates higher than apathy, guilt, and shame. Um, but right at 200, at, at 200 it tips, this is the balance scale, it tips from negative to positive. And at that point you start getting into curiosity and interest and other such things like that. Go ahead and look it up. It's all over the internet, uh, the map of human consciousness. And if you want to familiarize yourself with that. But that's why I use the number 200. It's those things which are, it's right where it starts to be positive and everything above. Of course, unconditional love and gratitude are the ones at the very top of of this scale according to David Hawkins and that's why I use a definitive number instead of just saying things that are good come in things that are bad stay out it's more precise in the language that we use um, and also it's like this netting these are little one inch holes that I have in this netting around my garden there are certain things I want to come into my garden I want ladybugs I want honeybees I want butterflies in my garden I don't want blue jays and magpies or deer and uh, rabbits. Okay, so down at the bottom, I put in even to keep the rabbits out. I put in some uh, some metal sheeting because the rabbits would chew right through this netting, but it keeps out the deer. And, and I've never had a problem of those harmful things in my garden. I've set it to the filtering ratio of what I want to allow into the garden. And it's on the ceiling. It's 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 covered. It's completely covered. And I want to think. I want you to think of your your energetic bubble, your shielding, as just completely covering you. Holding an intention that it does. Uh, there are higher levels of understanding. Sometimes we can get a hole in our R in our shield, and that needs to be repaired energetically. It goes beyond the scope of what we're doing here today. But it's about shielding and protecting, so that you can work in an office or a work situation where you're around these extremely negative, toxic, and poisonous people. And yes, we can't make it to where it's a joy and a thrill to work with them. But if we can energetically shield, we don't end up taking that stuff home with us. And if we get around those needy vampire type people that are just draining off us all the time, we set up that shield and we can hold that. So we keep our energies in, we can absorb that which serves us and reject just like wearing a mask at an airport. We're not going to let in, we let in air that we need to breathe, but we want it to trap and filter out the things which can be harmful to us. And that's the reason that we do this energetic shielding. Okay, so now that uh, we've talked about, you have your shield, but I've talked about being in the garden and it's got to be watered and protected and maintained, right? So how do you go about maintaining your shield? It's very simple. I love to make things simple. Again, there's a lot of information on the internet. I don't think most of it will work. This is just my take on it and, and trying to simplify things so that it works easy without a lot of process and of things to remember and memorize. So, simply, if you imagine your shield is a bubble around you, it tends to like go down overnight. And so this is the visualization process that I use. You're welcome to use whatever you want. When you get up in the morning, just imagine, just reach down, touch your toes, or don't touch your toes, but reach down to your toes, grab that, imagine that you're grabbing this, and go through the physical movements, and pull that up over your head, I'm hooked in the bar here, pull that up over your head, and as you do that, say shields up, so it looks like this. 
shields up okay bring them together so that you just imagine this whole thing just come all the way up around you and you're completely covered now and so this bubble goes with you wherever you go throughout the day do that daily it can be that simple it helps if you don't get angry when you get angry when you let negative emotions and you really dive into going super sad or angry or whatever those emotions are you'll take your own shield down you'll be poking holes in your shield so if you have a little hissy fit or whatever that is just shields up again and then try not to have hissy fits after that um, the other thing is, is sometimes you can come under attack during the day you get around somebody at work somebody in a social situation or whatever even maybe somebody posting something about you that just feels really negative as soon as we kind of absorb that in it's like it knocks our shields down so we just say shields up and if we can feel it coming we can like imagine putting up a barrier between us and that person and and use the movement with your hand like shields up if you're standing there talking to the person you can just do a gentle like you're brushing lint off your shirt or something and think shields up you can shrug your shoulders you don't have to do a physical movement it just helps you be more powerful with your intention uh, have your hands hanging down to your side obviously the camera doesn't go down that far but just flick your wrist up and say shield sh think shields up uh, also when you go into a, a large gathering with a lot of people there's a lot of different energies there I notice this when the biggest time I need to shield is when I go to energy conferences where everybody's running all this positive energy but it's so many different kinds of energy that I think oh I don't need to shield today because I'm around all these positive people but I am absolutely drained by the end of the day sometimes halfway through the day it's like I've got to get out of here and just be outside for an hour or so uh, because what it, it's all that energy is just bombarding you and so you need to shield and protect yourselves even fr uh, from too much of the wrong kinds of energy so that's why we always set an intention to let in those things which are for our benefit and good uh, at 200 and above so that's it if you're in the middle of a confrontation with somebody shields up if you're on the phone with them you can do that right while you're on the phone with them but just maintain it be aware that it's not it's not made out of titanium or concrete it's a bubble it can be popped but you can just put it right back up again that's what there is to maintaining it. and then just notice your way of being so that you aren't doing things yourself to, to poke holes in your own bubble that's all there so is to you've it. enjoyed this kind of a short video uh, I'm so glad you're here with us again go to our channel or our website join this channel too if you haven't subscribed please subscribe we, we do good stuff uh, we really try to just give great value and uh, on this channel to to share what we have learned and what we know. Um, and then go to our website, www.allthingspossible.biz. Thanks so much for joining us. It's been kind of fun here doing this in the garden, just enjoying nature. I want to say I love you guys. and I, That sounds weird. I don't know many of you, but I, I, I feel such a love for the people that want to better themselves in this way. So you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.